Hey everyone, it's Deltran Live. So in my last video, I showed you how to import custom models as doodads in the editor. Uh, the one thing I could not figure out was how to add the textures. So I actually have figured that out, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So it's pretty cool. So just a brief summary of last time, uh, to add custom models, you first have to import them. And then once imported, uh, you go to the data module and then you can add the model and actor uh, as a doodad. And you can just place the model uh, on your map. So, but if you need more information, just I, I would watch the, the first video. Uh, I'll put a link down below to that first video before watching this video. So uh, some other changes I made, I added just a second model, uh, ice model. And then I added a, a marine set to player one so we can actually test the map and move around and look at things. The other small change I did, I removed the space between, uh, before I had ice space model, I just uh, removed that space just to make, you know, things a little easier uh, uh, to work with. So first things first, First, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys where the texture. We're gonna go ahead and add this texture here. We're not gonna worry about this uh, normal texture. We're just gonna add this one. So let me guys show you something. So if you guys go to cutscenes, it takes a couple seconds to load. So this is the cutscene editor. So once this opens up, you wanna go to your files the files tab and then models and then go to your uh, ice tower model double click that and it'll uh, pop up on the on the screen so then what you want to do is go to um, go to this uh, preview uh, loose files preview and then just click on ice shielded tower and then what you want to do you go to object model data so here you can see uh, all the information all the model uh, the data for the model what you want to do is go to materials and then what we're missing is this um, bottom portion which is uh, the splat so expand that folder and you can see um, the diffuse texture is the one we want to add so you want to keep note, uh, keep track of this name. This is War Three Underscore Human Uber Splat. Uh, I believe this is, uh, texture was was taken from uh, Warcraft Three uh, Warcraft Three texture. Okay. Uh, you can also see that the other texture that we have is the normal. So if you wanted to go in ahead and add add that, just keep track of that name. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to sh um, show how to sh show how to add the diffuse texture. Okay, so that's it for now. Let's just close the cutscene editor and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do uh, after you made note of the texture name is go to the data editor. Uh, first, let me just go show you something. Um, just uh, well, let me open the map up, the game up, just to show that the texture does not show up in game before doing this. So just give it a second. Uh, return the game, and you can see, and yes, indeed, there's no textures below that. So let's just uh, what I showed in my last tutorial, just Alt Tab. Uh, back to your map editor there's no need to close it close the game let's go to the data module and then the first tab we're going to want to work with is the models tab so in the models tab just search for the ice model select it and then in the um, the fields you want to look for uh, the basic texture texture decoration plus. So in the in the value, just double click in the value next to that, 
And what we're going to want to do is uh, add a value to the under the texture declarations. And then in adaptions, um, we want to add a value as well. So first thing you want to do is for the slot, just type main. And then trigger on substring you're going to want to type in underscore uh, human uber splat. This is important. Um, and then, well, first of all, let's type in the prefix, which is going to be war three underscore. So you can see here, if you go back to the textures, uh, the prefix is just war three, and that's consistent uh, between the diffuse and normal. So if you wanted to add the normal as well, you would just add another adapt adaption um, and then uh, keep the prefix the same and the trigger on substring would be human uber splat underscore norm. Okay, and then once that's done, uh, just press okay. And then uh, save it. And now you're going to want to go into the textures tab. Uh, if you don't have the textures tab open, just go to this plus sign, edit art and sound data, and then textures. Okay, in the textures tab, just right click in the catalog field, add texture, and we're going to name this ice model underscore diffuse. Uh, and then just press suggest and then okay okay and then on the in the, the fields look for a basic slot uh, you'll want to double click the value and just type in main press okay and now in the basic file value double click that and now you're going to want to browse for your that specific uh, texture that you want to use. So once that opens up, we want to use this texture, the diffuse texture. Just press OK. It'll show a preview right there. That's the one we want. Press OK. Save it. Now finally go to, to the Actors tab. Let's give it a second to load. In the Actors tab, you're going to want to search for the uh, ice model, select it, and then you're going to want to find uh, the field basic, where is it, basic event, events plus, double click the, the value next to it, right click, add event, and message type, you're going to want to create actor creation and then in the next message type you want to this is going to be uh, texture select by ID so select that and now the value uh, you want to select the texture ca catalog entry ID to the ice model diffuse so let's just find that uh, you can also search for it, which would be a little easier. Here we go. And just press OK. Uh, you're going to get some warnings. Just ignore those warnings. Let's save it. And let's go back to the... Uh, let's just go ahead and close the data module and go back to the terrain. So you can see, you don't see the... The... Uh, what do I think? The textures here. But just make sure you save it and then test document. It'll load up, return to game, and now, ta-da! Now you see the textures underneath the statues. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what we want. So like I said, uh, you can go ahead, a lot of times you'll have uh, multiple textures for one 
uh, unit or doodad. So you can have the diffuse, normal, uh, what are the other ones? Uh, specular, uh, things like that. So the only thing you would change, let me go back to the data editor, would be in the models tab. in the ice model uh, texture declarations like I said you would add uh, more adaptions uh, so you would add an adaption for each uh, here we just have the diffuse you'd add one for the normal and if there's any other ones in the textures tab you would basically add, uh, repeat these steps, uh, just add a texture, another texture for the normal and any other ones you have. And then for the actors, in the basic events, events, you would basically add an event uh, or kind of repeat the same steps for each of the different textures that you're adding. But anyways, there you go. So now we finally have a complete model uh, that shows up in game with the, the model and the textures. And yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, this is actually probably my favorite tutorial I've done so far because it actually took me the longest to figure out how to add these textures. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we get some use out of it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Alright, bye now.